students in the last class we had discussed about the methods by which plane polarized light can be produced the first method that we discussed there was polarization by reflection or the method to produce polarized light by reflection there light was allowed to fall on a reflecting surface at its polarizing angle and the reflected light was found to be plane polarized with vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence in the second method that we are going to discuss today we produce plane polarized light by refraction here a pile or a group of 20 to 30 glass plates are taken together and light is made on the first plate at the polarizing angle of glass which is 56.3 degree now about 15% 15% of the incident light gets reflected and it will be plane polarized with vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence the remaining light will be refracted and it will be a mixture of partially polarized light the refracted ray again falls on the second glass plate a part of that light will be reflected and the remaining will be transmitted or refracted on to the third glass plate each time a reflection takes place part of the plane light with vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence gets reflected out finally when the refracted ray comes out of the uh, last glass plate it will contain only vibrations which are parallel to the plane of incidence or the uh, refracted ray which finally comes out of the last glass plate will be completely plane polarized with vibrations parallel to the plane of incidence this is how we produce plane polarized light by refraction adayathu unpolarized light ne nammal oru set of glass plates kude kadathi vidan anuvadikunu ee unpolarized light aadyatha glass plate il adinde adutha polarizing angle il venam vannu padikkan appo oro pravashyam ee light ray aadyatha glass plate il vannu padikkunu adinde cheriya oru bhagam reflect cheythu povunu baaki refract cheynu ee reflect cheyna light will be completely plane polarized with vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence again refract cheythu poya light adutha glass plate il vannu tattunu adinde oru bhagam reflect cheythu povunu baaki refract cheynu ee oro reflection il povunna light galkkum light beam ilum all those will be placed avare ella polarized aayirikkum with vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence finally last glass plate il ninnu porthu varuna refracted ray completely plane polarized aayirikkum but with vibrations parallel to the plane of incidence all plane polarized light with vibrations perpendicular to the plane of incidence are removed by reflection and the last ray which comes finally out of the last glass plate will have will be plane polarized with vibrations parallel to the plane of incidence this is how you produce polarization by refraction next what you have to learn is something called malus law in malus law we we determine by using malus law we determine the intensity of the light emerging out of a polarizer or a polaroid now suppose a beam of plane polarized light is incident on a polarizer so that its transmission axis is given like this this dotted line represents the transmission axis of my polarizer and suppose the plane polarized light has vibrations inclined at an angle of theta with respect to the transmission axis i drew a line parallel to the transmission axis here and it and my plane polarized light the vibration of my plane polarized light makes an angle theta with the transmission axis let small a be the amplitude of vibration of the plane polarized light so that i can split it into two components this is a cos theta this part a cos theta and part will be a sin theta now only those vibrations which are parallel to the transmission axis will pass through 
so the a cos theta component of my vibration will pass through the polarizer or polaroid and will reach the other side that means the intensity of light transmitted out is proportional to the square of the amplitude so the intensity of light which is transmitted out will be proportional to a cos theta cos a cos is the amplitude which has come out okay is the the amplitude which has passed through the polarizer and come out so intensity will be proportional to square of amplitude or intensity is equal to i replace it with a constant of proportionality k a square square theta or i replace it with this is equal to i0 cos theta i is equal to i0 cos square theta this is malus law so malus law gives you the intensity of light which emerges out of a polarizer or pol uh, or a polaroid when a beam of plane polarized light is incident at some particular angle theta with respect to the transmission axis it can also be used to find out the intensity of plane polarized light coming out of a polarizer when unpolarized light is incident on it this law can also be used to find out the intensity of the plane polarized light which emerges out when unpolarized light falls on it unpolarized light means light having vibrations in all directions something like this when it is allowed to pass through a polarizer having its transmission axis like this then plane polarized light comes out we know that so what will be the intensity of this plane polarized light to find that we do i is equal to i is equal to i zero cos square theta now to find the intensity of emergent light you have to find out the average of this cos square theta from 0 to 2 pi why from 0 to 2 pi because my incident light has vibrations in all directions 0 to 2 pi so i is equal to cos the average of cos square theta from 0 to 2 pi is given as half the answer is half so that i is equal to i 0 i2 that is the intensity of the transmitted light when unpolarized light falls on a polarizer gets reduced to half of that of the incident light adayathu light unpolarized light or polarizer na mugalil vannu veenal porthu varuna plane polarized light inde intensity original light inde intensity ede pagudhi aayirikkum adanu ipo nammal prove cheyathu okay so this is malus law now we are going to this begin the third process by which we can plane polarize this polarization by double refraction double refraction is also called birefringence what is double refraction when ordinary unpolarized light is passed through certain crystals like quartz calcite etc the refracted ray inside the crystal is into two even light ray passes through a glass plate it will have just one refracted ray isn't it but when a ray of light passes through a doubly refracting crystal there will be two refracted rays this phenomenon is called double refraction suppose you are looking at a crystal at an object through such a doubly refracting crystal then you will be able to see two images or doubly refracting crystal eduth adinte ullil kude nammal apparthirikkunna or objectine nokkiyal namukku rendu aa objectinte rendu images kaanan sadhikkum now when you rotate this crystal when you rotate the crystal the one image remains stationary and the other image moves around the stationary image ennattu nammal ee objectine nokkikonde ee crystal ne rotate cheyidal or image stationary aayi nikkum anangada nikkum matte image stationary image ne chuttum kidannu move cheyum so the refracted ray responsible for the stationary image is called the ordinary ray and the refracted are responsible for the moving image the other image is called the extraordinary ray 
up so what is double refraction when a beam of unpolarized light is incident on certain doubly refracting crystals on certain anisotropic crystals like calcite quartz etc the refracted ray inside the crystal splits into two one is the ordinary ray and the other is extraordinary ray the ordinary ray has is plane point with y perpendicular to the plane of incidence and extraordinary ray is plane polarized with vibrations parallel to the plane of incidence since the two refracted rays are plane polarized this method of double refraction can be used for producing polarized light the details of this we'll learn in the next session so the three methods for producing polarized light are polarization by reflection polarization by refraction and polarization by double refraction so i hope this session is clear to all of you if you have any doubts do contact thank you